Now, News Extra brought to you today by Intralinks. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We're uh, kind of excited to uh, have one of the extension interns, one of the full-time extension interns in today. Kristen Fallholter, along with uh, Jana Schwartz, is here. And we're going to talk about uh, summer workshops, extension summer workshops, and maybe some other things, 4-H program and even the fair as well. So uh, welcome, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so Kristen, you're going to be the main the main people, the main person here, right, <laughs> t- today? Correct, yes I All am. All right, well let's just talk about you first, just initially, okay? You're one of uh, five interns, you're one of two full-time, right? Yes, um, I am one of five, and um, two of us are full-time for each extension interns. All right, and you're a junior at UNL? I am. Um, I'm a double major in marketing, advertising, and public relations. And you uh, also did, uh, initially we're going to go into radio. <laughs> yeah, I was originally a broadcasting major, so going back to my roots in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Okay, so let's talk about uh, some of these summer workshops. You've been a very busy gal. Tell I, us about it. I have been. Um, so as an intern, I initially create workshops for youth. And so we created five um, this for the summer. And so we've done two already, and so we have one coming up uh, tomorrow, it is the Rockets Workshop, and participants will be able to create rockets and learn more about them. Uh, July 7th, we're going to have the Art of Science, and so initially uh, participants will be able to create art experiments through science experiments. And then also on July 12th, we will have the Endangered Species Workshop, and participants will be able to learn more about endangered species in Nebraska as well as across the world. And we're actually uh, we're very privileged to work with uh, the zoo, the Riverside Zoo, on this project as well. All right. So uh, I would imagine the one tomorrow and the one on the 7th will be out of the extension office, right? Correct. Yes. And then the one on the 12th likely at the zoo? Um, we haven't t- really decided yet. Um, the, the, the other full-time intern, Cini Garcia, she is actually in charge of that, and they haven't decided on anything yet. All right, very good. And people want to sign up for this, they can do it? Yes. Uh, there's uh, three ways you can do that. Um, one, we have an online form that you can go on to our Facebook page, and you can find it there, and you can just like search uh, UNL Extension Scott's Bluff County and you should be able to find it. Um, we also have paper forms that you can come to the extension office and pick up or you can also call us um, the extension office at 308-632-1480 and you can uh, register over the phone. Fantastic. And you even uh, bringing some of these workshops to Bridgeport like next week, right? Yes. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, we're very excited to take uh, Backyard Splash, which uh, we did Backyard Splash last Tuesday. And that was our horticulture one in which uh, participants were able to create fairy gardens and flower bombs. And so we're able to take that on Monday and rockets on Monday as well. And then Art of Science will be on Tuesday as well as Endangered Species. Now, these are for uh, elementary kids for the most part. Yes. And maybe a little older kids for the most part, third to sixth grade, you yeah, were saying? Yeah, um, it kind of depends on the workshop. Um, I've also been kind of like open to any age. You know, if you want to come in and learn, go ahead, come on in. Um, but yeah, we do have some age limits, but you know, if you want to come, you can learn something new. Wow. You do a great job. <laughs> Thanks. You, maybe you should go back to radio. <laughs> maybe. You know, you, are you, are you offering probably, me something here, you'll, you'll make more money in marketing, <laughs> advertising, and public relations. So you should probably stay right there. Okay. All right. We'll uh, do some more uh, conversation here with Kristen. And uh, also, uh, Jana will tell us how wonderful this uh, intern program is working out right after this. Is your wireless computer network secure? With their years of professional service, you can trust Intralink's technical solutions to keep your small or medium business computer system up and running. Not having a secure wireless network can put your computers at risk. Call Intralink's at 632-6590 to have one of their highly experienced techs set up, troubleshoot, and secure your wireless network. For weekly tips and information, friend Intralink's on Facebook at intralinks.net slash Facebook. All right, we're back on News Extra, and uh, we're talking about uh, summer extension workshops, and uh, we're really happy to have Kristen Fellholter here along with Jana Schwartz. And uh, Kristen, if you weren't here before the break, she told us all about these workshops that she's going to be doing on uh, July uh, 7th and 12th, and even one tomorrow, one tomorrow on rockets, one on the 7th on art of science. 
one on the 12th on endangered species, and then they're taking a few of those to Bridgeport on Monday and Tuesday. And uh, you can go on the Extension Facebook page, their extent, their actual page. You can call them. You can do it. There's a lot of different ways you can apply and get. make sure you get into these for kids third to sixth. Okay, so let's bring the mic over here to to Jenna Schwartz and we watched Kristen just go through this list <laughs> yeah she does a good job you've probably with five interns you'd think you're pretty busy but they're sounds like they're just taking over huh? they are doing a great job and if you think her excitement is I mean multiply that by five because yeah. definitely they are all um, go-getters and really helping add to our program so we're very thankful to be able to have that many this year yeah no question about it yeah. all right uh let's talk let's let Kristen do it again real <laughs> fast uh, <laughs> tell us about the 4-h program in in general okay uh, yeah. and, and how important that was maybe to you and and should be to kids as they move on yeah so essentially 4-h is an organization that helps youth develop into their full potential and so i can speak from personal experience um i've been a 4-h'er for over 10 years like I started when I was a peewee and you're able to develop to develop skills and abilities that most kids probably won't develop until they're older and so you can gain so much from 4-H and there's different areas that you can really focus in as well we have like 4-H science agricultural literacy career development and college readiness citizenship and leadership and I know that sometimes 4-H gets um, this reputation as being agriculturally based however um, 4-H has de uh, definitely developed in to a program in which we reach more than just the agriculture. I mean, we have rocket, uh, rob, robotics. We have robotics programs and also like Big Red summer camps. Um, I know I've gone to a summer camp in which we did government stuff and it, it was called Unicameral Camp and I was able to be a senator for a day or two and get to debate bills and stuff like that. So 4-H has definitely grown into this program and organization that can help youth get skills and abilities that they will need later on in life. Yeah. All right, very good. And you get to also help out with the fair for at least a little while before you go back to school, right? Yes, yeah, I'm definitely excited to take part in this gospel fair. Um, normally, I, um, I'm i from Morrill County, so I, I've been in the Morrill County Fair, and so the Scottsbluff Bluff County Fair is definitely bigger than Morrill County, so I'm definitely excited to see uh, how how bigger productions work. And one of your workshops was on showmanship to help the kids with uh, their animals and showing them at the fair and that type of stuff, right? Yes, on Monday we had uh, what we called Tell It to the Judge, and so participants were able to come in and learn about showmanship of each animal. We had like beef, um, lambs, sheep, oh, lamb, <laughs> those are the same, uh, swine, rabbits, poultry. And so they were, uh, it was like a basic introductory level so that people could come in and work on their skills and stuff. Yeah, pretty cool. So uh, great summer for you, I would think. Yeah, yeah. really very busy summer. <laughs> yeah, that's be fantastic. And I know Jana's really appreciating everything you guys are doing and uh, making it a little easier for her. And she <laughs> says a little more lively there with the young people in. Definitely, right? It is definitely, yes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is a great program. Uh, how long have you had this? Real quick, we've got about a minute left. Okay, so the intern program um, is something that we usually, we've had for about three years that we've been having funding. And it is um, students that are at the university that I think are that junior, senior level. Yeah just right before they uh, kind of get into the real world and yes. and find out whether the extension is what they want to do. and Exactly, yeah, and, and kind of give them an overview of, of everything that extension does, everything from, you know, agriculture to um, human nutrition to working with youth. Yeah, all right, very good. Well, thanks, you guys. Uh, good luck with your workshops. And, uh, Kristen, good luck with uh, the rest of your college career. I think you're going to be great. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On the air, online, and streaming live on your mobile device, 960 KNEB, Scotts Bluff, Gearing, your trusted voice for news.